Okay, only because this is metal. Uh, that's metal. Okay. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, is this thing going to be heavy or what? Or is it just stuck in there? Oh no, it's heavy. Yep, yeah, okay. Here. Uh, okay, we'll take heavy. Uh, seems to me I started off the same way last time. What an office chair. All right, moving on. Here we go. That's a nice chunk. Um, okay. Looks like it was an old for a boat trailer, maybe. I don't know. Don't know. Let's put this up here by this chunk. There we go something a little more metal yeah it's not much um, see if we can just deposit it hey come on can you go oh, I guess you can't come on I wanted it to go in between there we go sort of like that that way I can Hmm. I can get a lot more than that. Do a double wrap. Come on, baby. There we go. What do you That'll say we it. do a little tote fishing? Hmm? Yeah. It's fairly heavy. Is it metal though? That's the question. This is got metal on the inside. I'm going to say yes to both. Little bits. <laughs> Comes Little in bits. pairs. <laughs> Only this one's torn up, the other one wasn't. This might be aluminum, but it feels kind of heavy. Yeah, right there. There's another one. Indeed, steel. All right. Well, we take what we can get. Uh, I was supposed to do a pickup last Thursday, but the weather turned crap, so um, that will not be done until this week. Let's see, I think I can get underneath here like this. That'll hold it in, I hope. How about we run this through it, too? Um, and I got to call the auto repair place, see if they've got anything too. So, all right. Well, this is going to do it for Monday. I've looked all over and this is what I come up with. Office chair, a couple of stools and that heavy piece of metal and those couple of handle things. Yeah, that's about it. Not much on the Monday, but... The majority of this was garbage route so all right folks up next who knows either to pick up or tuesday morning scrap to make this kind of fast because this is all torn up and oh, please tell me this is metal it's plastic shoot now that was for naught okay i had it back and forth back and forth past this but I think I saw something underneath these bags. Yeah, it's a little microwave, I think. Got a nice big cord on it. We'll get it out and put this stuff back. And oh my God, folks, I don't know if you saw it. Right there. Okay, that's coax. I don't want that. I want this. Come on, baby. No droppies. I'll come back and oh god. I hope there's none on this. <laughs> That's gonna land in my uniform. <laughs> come on, get down there. Um Yeah, we don't want the glass either. <laughs> That's a tough 
tiny microwave. Is that more coax of the next stuff? Yeah, yep. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I saw the coax cable first. And then did it back up and looked again and pulled over and looked again and it's like, yes. Baby microwave. Sweet. Morning. I'm here to take the script. Yeah. Alrighty. Start with these. Okay. It's underneath something here. Yeah, I got a lot of room on the other side I'm going to have to use. So, one of my neighbors yeah, gave me this. <laughs> and, as you can see, that's all I found this morning, Tuesday. So, we're going to pick this stuff up and then we're going to go to the scrapyard. So, I need a little bit of cash. I don't expect much, maybe 20, 25 bucks, something like that, but I'll see what we can get. These are certainly going to make it <laughs> heavier load. Hi. Oh, yeah. wasn't much out on the curb this week the two days that I went of course both days were garbage day they weren't uh, recycling days so right. mm. these are good mm -hmm. Everybody's having a great day today. Mm, okay. The wipers. Got a few more little heavies in here. Just a moment. <laughs> Got to go. Some wiper blades. I need to get these cords out of here. So I may not empty this out today at the yard. Yeah, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that stuff in there for now. Cause uh and I'll just throw the small the small stuff that's in here right in the bag. Let's chuck it out that way. Leave that garbage container alone. Contain all that little stuff right there. Let's see if this is light enough to move now. Oh yeah. Got to get a better grip on it. There we go. I'll just put all this right there, except this. And I 
think. No, that's probably steel as well. All right, I'll just dump it all right here. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, we got 3,700 going in. See, there we go. Am I okay to go? All right. That's Big Me Jean up there in the, the big rig. See? I hope I missed the crane leg. And the crane, and the crane feet, keeping Gene from tipping over. All right, we're gonna call that good and dump. Let's go drop our junk off. All right, like we said, this is all steel. This can go right away. I thought this was aluminum. So I got more to set in the garage. Right. We'll start unhinging some of this stuff. Yeah, I didn't do a very good pack job with what I picked up on Monday. I just kind of threw it in here. Hope for the best. Yeah, that's right. Had to do that. Do that from this side. All right. This first, and then I can get a little junk out. Hmm. Hang on a second. Think of that at the beginning. Something right in here, too. Like a nice little heavy. Uh, It's all right to go out here? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I didn't think of this while I was at the repair place. I'm putting all this little junk inside that microwave. Oh. Yeah, wouldn't give you a challenge right now then. I'm stupid as hell sometimes. <laughs> Just sometimes? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> Don't oversell yourself now. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's say 60% of the time. There you go, there you go. Don't say I didn't help you. Well, you got all the heavy stuff for me. <laughs> all right. Interesting how this gaming chair has a uh, seatbelt built into it. Yeah. That thing is heavy. Oh, yeah. Because it's all reinforced yeah, up here. Yeah, it's all reinforced, and I can yep. be all that support and all that. Yeah. Yep. Now watch this. I'm going to try to get this on one of these. Maybe not. Yeah, just throw it on drop. That'll work. Oh, come on. Uh. 
There's one about like what I just put out. Yep, my neighbor Tom came to this. Oh, this thing's like a beast. Actually, these, this, and those two are beasts as well. Yeah, that's what I don't like about these. They got fluid in them, and now I got it in the back of my truck. Keep. Does anybody know what this is? This thing. It's heavy. I can't imagine what it's for, but... Oh. Alright, I'll get this out of the way. Yeah, this gaming chair is heavy, folks. Very heavy. Hey, come on, let it go. Shouldn't say too much. I was the one that put it that way, so. Hey, it's on wheels. Some heavies left and right. And this. You know what? For the sake of needing cash, and this is a rarity that I get this from the auto repair place. It's going out. All right. That little wheel can stay behind. And I got a bunch of little tchotchkes right there. I can see them. But they're not going to kill the cause. All right, let's go in. And then we get some cash. 3,700 going in. Come on, 3,500 or lower. Hey, look at that. 240 pounds. I'll take that. Yeah. 240. All right, folks, we're all done at the pay office. How much did we get for the 240 pounds? 30 beans. 30 beans, 25, 30 beans. That's pretty good money for 240 pounds. I know there's other scrappers north and south in the United States and Canada and around the world that are not getting the prices that we're getting, but I, I can't apologize for living where I live. So, all right. Well, I got to stop the make on the way home and going to get home and get this video put together. Hopefully upload it for tonight, Tuesday night or Tuesday afternoon. I'm off tomorrow and Thursday, it's supposed to be nice out, gonna work in the garage. You folks haven't seen the garage in a while. All right, folks. We're all done at the scrapyard, got the cash. Here's the garage update. Check it out. I got this corner cleaned out right here for the wife. For her, her my daughter, my granddaughter stuff. So they get from this crack right here to the end and about, I'd say a third of the way out, maybe not quite half, no further than this carpet remnant right here, or whatever the hell this is. <laughs> Basically, all I did was move everything back. I got wire bucket stuff to be processed, brass and copper to be processed, aluminum cans, shred, aluminum. This bucket right here, brass, all of it's clean. Copper, I got more to go. Got to get it all off of here. Uh, I got my projects. I got uh, a baby microwave. Let's see if I can show you without too much effort. Little baby microwave down there. That thing weighs a ton. 
for its size. And then a computer monitor, an old CRT. I'm going to take that apart. I got this tankless water heater here that I'm going to get to soon. And then over here is the pool heater. I was going to try today to cut this chunk of copper off the outside and pull the junk off it, get the plastic off the end and throw it in, but hey, I'm going to wait. And then, uh, yeah, I didn't fix that shelf up too much at all. Bear Bright stripped, Bear Br or insulated Bear Bright. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you all remember this or not, but this was my old time wire stripper. Three blades, put screws in to hold them in place. I'd hold it like this and haul the wire through with a big pair of pliers. <laughs> Dug that out of the stuff back here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, a bunch of stuff yet back here. I got a sink back there. I got three sinks here, another sink there, so that's five sinks. Fan motors got to be taken out and torn apart. And there's other stuff in here. I got a toolbox there that I haven't been into in quite a while. And I see some bare bright wire in there. That's got to be taken care of. Some jumper cables. All sorts of stuff. So, but you remember how this was. And I got the toolbox over here. I got... odd assortment of pry tools well I should be putting this stuff back the way I had it so I don't make an embarrassment out of myself I got this 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 nice chunk of brass brass copper brass you're going back in there I got those to take care of I got keys and stuff in here this little baby vice I don't know it will, it will stick. Oh, some more bear bright. It will stick. Yeah, if I can get a flat surface. It will stick and it does close up. Yeah. Um, and I got more bear bright up there. It's just got to be processed. So... But yeah, I got, okay, so back to this. That, I got some tools in there. I got tools, well, my hacksaw. Let me close this and get this back out of the way. This out of the way. These two are going back in the bag. This go back in here for now. Um, an assortment of these. Somebody threw them out. I found a bunch of them. I kept them. Uh, that's I use that pretty much as a punch tool. Uh, here's a nice sharp pointy punch tool. All right, I got some wire ties in there. And what am I here? We can just throw this in there. And oh yeah, here's another pry. I'll just put it in here. Now, found a roll of electrical tape. Why I need that, I do not know, but found it in somebody's trash, took it, found this in somebody's trash, it's Gorilla Tape. Alright, well there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. These were a pain in the tuckets. So I'm going to throw this into the shred, and I'm going to call an end to the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Not a lot on the streets this week. But I got more garbage I got to dump off at home. This stuff right here, a bunch of empty tool totes, stuff like that, plastic junk. All right. Well, there you go, folks. I think the garage looks fan damn -tastic. Not bad. All right. My love to everybody, each and every person watching. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And as always, folks, have a wonderful, wonderful day.